Welcome back, everyone, to our season two finale oh. of Pop Draw. Two? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had a, um. I know, season two, <laughs> we big money here. Yeah. This is a live draw long show where I, Marisha Ray, the student, learn how to draw with our wonderful, wonderful teacher, a Babs Tar. And today we are joined by the incredibly talented supervising director of our upcoming ah. animated series, <laughs> Sung Jin On. Hello. Thanks, Thanks for coming. coming. Oh, and thanks for up. art directing our animated series. Oh, you yeah. know, I tried. That's pretty yeah. cool. Still, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> On today's episode, we are going to be drawing action poses with Bo and discussing animation technique because Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Before we start drawing, a huge thank you to our returning sponsor, Wacom. For 35 years, Wacom has been making pin technology and products for artists of all levels. And as part of their gift of creativity promotion, over the month of December, you can enjoy up to $30 off an Intuos product and $50 off as Cintiq 16. The deals also include creative software like Adobe Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint, which only make the offers that much better. You can get these deals at both Buzz Buy or on Amazon, where you can get everything. And as always, look for more information in the links provided in chat or in the video description. Find out more about the Gift of Creativity holiday promotion <laughs> from Wacom at bit.ly slash pdpromos2. Stay tuned for later in the episode where we will do an in-chat giveaway of five. That's right, count them up, five Intuoses. Happy finale, everybody. Oh my God. Thank you, welcome, as always. Last week, we told you how to submit your drawing of Ford for a chance to win a Cintiq 16. This episode of Pub Draw is pre-taped <laughs> because Babs is still in Japan. So let's throw to our art dinosaur <laughs> to tell us who our winner for last week's episode is. Thanks, Marisha. Sorry, my voice is a little shot. Word to the wise, don't lick your brushes. Anyway, last week's winner is Elena at Well Bust My Buffers on Tumblr. Let's take a look. Wow. Looks just like Ford. Incredible job. Congrats to you, Elena. Back to you, Marisha. Wow. Wow. Thanks, wow. Art Dinosaur. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats, you. <laughs> all right. I think it is uh, time to get drawing. Yes. Now we've got all the business out of the way. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So what are we so, going to do today? Uh, so, <laughs> action poses. Yeah. yeah, I heard we're going to try uh, pass the action poses. Yeah. Yes. It's been a bit. Since I've while. done any, it's been a while since I've done any um, <laughs> full body full body stuff. Yeah, we did a few episodes the first season, two or three. Yeah. Um. So it go was okay. slow. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I mean, in the whole vein of like being artistic and drawing, it's always good to draw things you're uncomfortable with. Yeah. You know, to really expand your horizons and your oh, skill yeah. sets. Oh, you know, you don't. Want, you definitely don't want to get tunnel vision. So. Today, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get uncomfortable, yeah. Let's get uncomfortable. <laughs> Which is like do that every episode. Cool. I've been over here practicing <laughs> eyeballs. So I think we're gonna uh, do an action pose of Bo today, Marisha's current character, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so, at least personally for me, one thing I like to do when I first like approach or start drawing an action pose is. Of course, be loosey goosey, but work with actually a bigger brush. Because we're gonna break it down. We're gonna do like a, a rough, just loosey goosey gestural pass. Bigger. Okay. And then we're gonna like tie it down. How's that? Does that feel too big? Yeah. No, that's perfect. That's bigger perfect. the better. Oh, awesome. Bigger the better. Bigger the Great. better. I never you don't wanna get you don't wanna get any right. like inhibitions, you don't wanna get chained down, no fears, no like, you know, like any of that stuff. You just wanna just no fear. Attack, attack, no fear. Attack the fear. It's action pose. You got to go in action, right? I got to go into the action. Mm-hmm. All right, so. We should do his bigger though, right? His screen. There you go. There we go. So, and you know, half of it is like, we're staying loose, but we're also figuring out as we go, because. And we're doing like uh, one of her poses. So we try to do your, po we should try to do your pose that you're doing. I mean, you guys can make up your own poses. You can all just. We're all, we'll follow the same like, like sh structure, like our steps. But you're more than welcome to just have your own pose. Really? Part of the fun and part of this first step is figuring out the pose. I'll like, do your pose. Do you do 
Do you do the perspective of the floor first? Like I see that in animation all the time with like this like checkerboard. Yeah, it depends. This gridded floor. Yeah, yeah, especially for like when we're doing layouts or storyboards, you know, we have to consider the environment, you know? Yeah. But I think for this scenario, we don't have to worry about that stuff because it's just more like a straight on correct character illustration. Okay. But that's that's a good point because for animation and when you storyboard and animate, perspective and the ground plane is super important. Yeah. Because you want them to be actually like living in that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so. So Marisha, I guess if we're gonna do the same pose, how yeah. would you describe yourself as Bo? What would you like to be doing in this moment, in this freeze frame? Let's have her, you know, kind of have her, her left hand up for guard, but she's like swinging back and about to go for like oh, okay. a full KO. A full KO. A block, a block yeah. and a KO. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, if we want to do that mid boxer punch. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So let's try to like lay down her blocking arm. Um, okay. And the reason I really like this step is like you don't have to worry about drawing at all or drawing well. It's like you want to get the feeling. Part of action poses is a lot of energy and gesture yeah. in the drawing. So you're just trying to capture that energy as you're laying it down. So, I mean, this is a blobby, ambiguous shape, but I can kind of feel like but the. That's kind of an arm. Yeah, it's kind of an arm. And the most important part, you want to get the originalness of she's blocking something. You want to accentuate that motion right there. Okay. Like your lines have to block. <laughs> if that's my lines doesn't have to make block. sense, but hey, we're doing art, so no, it, all it makes does. Sense. I am down for weird, esoterical <laughs> definitions. <laughs> this is like I would be like, I need a reference picture. <laughs> no, but this is exactly. I think this is what's really great about this step is. Yeah. It's you're just zenning out, you're just forgetting about, forget how to draw, forget how like <laughs> that we're you know on we're Photoshop. Not yet. Yeah, you're not trying to make it pretty. You want to get the feeling there. So, okay. all right. So now we got like a rigid, blocking, blobby arm shape. That's perfect. That's all you need. Okay. Okay. Next, you're let's. Pretty uh, close up. So we're doing. Are you gonna make that smaller? Or are we just gonna do a close up? I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> okay. We're doing a kind of close up, you know. Okay, okay. I mean, one thing to one thing I always keep in mind too. I'm sure you guys as well. When whenever we start drawing on paper, or whatever, I do keep in mind the paper as a framing. Yeah. And, and uh, that sort of dictates how I, where I start drawing. But you know, it's very loosey goosey too in a way. I like kind of keep in mind my paper framing and where I'm placing it. But I'll adjust it later. Yeah, yeah. Because like some people yeah. at home might be drawing on paper, so that we might want to draw yeah. like. Keep that in mind so they don't. If you're drawing on paper, yeah, definitely. You don't have a control Z on paper, so you want to be a little more <laughs> <laughs> mindful. <laughs> with, yeah, mindful with your 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 placement choices. Um, but hopefully, you also have access to Photoshop or whatnot. All right. So next, we're gonna. So from what I remember, how Marisha posed, block, punch. The head, I feel like it's gonna go lower well, than the arm. Right? So let's just put like a, a, a round, blobby shape. Maybe indicate. Some form of eye line there. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. This is already. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, I'm so this it? is Terry, right? That's your. He's doing the yes, cross line for the it. eyes. So that's the head, that's the eyes. Okay. <laughs> and it's kind of like. <laughs> oh, yours is much higher than mine. Kind of happening in like. Kind of forcing perspectives too. Yeah. Um, in, you know, in the vein of like drawing things that make you uncomfortable. I know a lot of people, I mean myself included, having things for sure and at camera, it's pretty hard, you know? Yeah. So I'm always forcing myself to draw like that to be able to get more versatile with it. Mm -hmm. And then it won't be so scary once you get more used to it. Yeah. And especially like, you know, working animation, you gotta jump on so many different styles and projects, deal with so many different kind of characters. You just trying to like expand your like foundation of what you get comfortable with. Yeah. Cause we all start off with being very uncomfortable creatures, right? We all were like, we just like our little home base here, but the the part of the journey of drawing and getting first of animation is like put yourself in uncomfortable stuff, a situation with drawing, like draw things that you're not very familiar with and you'll eventually get better at it. And one day, the uncomfortable thing will be like, hey, let's work on a thing. I'm like, great, I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. yeah. That and that's so a, preparation. Like, that's most of our viewers, I feel like, are people that aren't experts at drawing when we were mm -hmm. trying to learn. So, like, you guys are already ahead of the curve here. Yeah, that's great. All right, so we got like a loose head thing there. Um, 
One thing I like to keep in mind is let's just do like bop. That's her shoulder. Shoulder line. Bow shoulder line. Okay. That's and then cool. let's just do that for the hip line. Oh, you just, <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> that feels your hip line. Feelings. <laughs> Why not? Let's move yourself a little bit. <laughs> there we go. That feels like a hip. Here. I mean, I might. Oh, look at you with your B. Oh my God, I can't even. Marisha's just learning them hotkeys. She started doing hotkeys hot this season. I'm so proud of her. I'm learning yeah. Photoshop. Okay. It's hard to learn how to draw and learn a tool at the same time. Multitask it. But yeah. So but you have a pose in your head already that you're slowly drawing. It's, for it's us. coming together. Like as we're like and part of this process, like as I as soon as I threw down the first line, like something is kind of like. You know, so from is this base to, to base her base. wrist or is this her hand, you think? Uh, probably her hand, okay. yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's coming together as we're putting it down and talking about it. Okay. Yeah. I swear this wasn't preemptively planned or anything. <laughs> 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 For real. Um, so one thing about doing like dynamic action poses is you don't want to get into the rhythm like drawing like from like head to arms to body to legs. Yeah. There is no like real order. Shoulders and hips first. Well, it's kind of it very, it depends on what the, action is. the essence of that pose is, yeah. you know? So you gotta think about the pose itself first before you really think about how to draw it. Yeah. Um, so let's say Marisha said like both blocking, getting ready for a punch. So obviously this is gonna be a major factor, so we do that down first. And naturally I'm trying to go to the hip before we can figure out her other arm or her chest just cause like, that's where the next point of like most of the motion is gonna come from. Yeah. You know, boxers gotta shift their weight and Usually, like, the posture. coming up from like, that toe. Yeah, exactly. A little leg power. So, that being said, <laughs> since, we have a, since we have a general hip line, okay. let's, and to make everyone even more uncomfortable, let's bring her leg forward. Okay. So, this is gonna be like her knee, okay. and then her leg just coming right at you. Oh. Boom. Oh. Boom. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> and Babs, that was great. You, you were just like, fuck it, pop, pop. Yeah, I mean, that's what you that's gotta do. That's how you do. wanna approach it. That's how you wanna approach it. You want to, you want to kinda like, it's kinda weird. You want to put the same energy in how you're drawing this for what you're trying to accomplish with the drawing, you know? So if yeah. we're doing like a dynamic action pose, you wanna in, inject that energy into the actual like lines you're putting down. It's very like artsy fartsy. <laughs> Did it make her like big? No, it feels no. right, right? And don't even worry about well, it. Don't know, even worry we'll about fix it. it as we this go. is like first pass rough. Yeah. Things should be wrong. If things aren't wrong, that means you're not a human being. It's Babs, like, <laughs> this is our underdrawing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the underdrawing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tries to get too precious too fast. Like, don't worry about it yet. Yeah, don't, you don't want to get precious with it. Um, cool. So we got the knee coming forward. Let's, let's, let's indicate like where her foot's going to be. So I'm assuming her leg's going to be bent mm. back. Maybe we have some semblance of a foot coming this way. Whoa! Okay, yep. Yep, I see what you're laying down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's weird, it's like weird, like, we're not drawing, we're like... We're sculpting. Sculpting. <laughs> On a flat surface, <laughs> but in a three-dimensional plane. Wow, oh I just blew my mind right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the draw where you have to like articulate all the things you've been doing. I know, right? Like naturally for so long. That's true. I'm like, Babs, explain so how you do this. And she's like, I don't know. Let's do it. I don't know. I know, like, it's like half is just like kind of feeling, the other half, there's actually like logic to put down. That's how I got follow your art heart so hard on the show. So I'm just like, you just gotta follow oh, your heart gut heart. sometimes. Yeah. Do it. Oh, yeah. You'll, well, we have a um, we have a, a pencil case oh, that you yeah. can take home with you. <laughs> Little pup Whoa, drop merch. Follow your art heart. <laughs> Sick. I'm gonna take that and just like Sick, take it onto my shirt. The three dimensional like. Just make your own little fanny pack with it. Oh my god. <laughs> the fan packs already come back and do they already leave or are they still back? No, they are still here. Back. They're, They're here. still here. They have well, to be because yeah. I'm still used one. Yeah. So and people are now back. like. No, it's not just for your fanny. People are wearing it like across, across their chest. Body. Whoa. Body. Oh. It's like oversized yeah. ones too. They gave it a new name too, right? They call it like um, crossbody bag. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I thought it was like an adventure really? pack. Really? That's dumb. <laughs> oh, uh, I think the adventure packs are the bigger ones. It's oh, like okay. bigger ones. Okay. okay. We got the thigh, we got the yes. foot. Boom. We're feeling good. Feeling yeah, things are coming. Um, and, you know, in, in, in the vein of a dynamic action pose, you always want things coming at you and then away from you. You want that push and pull, right? Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, 
And that's usually what makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Everyone feels uncomfortable because we naturally don't know how to draw things. For, on you different, crazy for sure. Yeah. In different depths and stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, my gosh, yeah. maybe you could give us a mini lesson for that too once this pose is done. Like how to foreshorten stuff to the camera. Sure, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got the leg down. Let's, um, I feel like the next thing to really focus on is her other arm. What is her other arm doing? So Marisha, say, you said she's getting ready to throw a punch, right? Yeah. Cool. Having it hooked, back and hooked. Boom, that's her fist <laughs> and her other arm. Oh, that's her fist? Boom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God, it is her fist. What? Okay. <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> yeah, and just remember this, throughout this whole process, don't give an F. Doesn't matter how it looks right now, it's more about if you're, the feeling that you want is, is on the paper. That's all you want, it's just feelings, just feelings. <laughs> feelings. <laughs> your art your, heart, guys. Your just feelings. Follow your art really? heart. <laughs> follow those feelings. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> That's so cute, Marisha. Let's change it up a bit. Marisha, you want to choose what the other leg is doing? Do you like, like give us a little take. Like, do you want to come well, forward? Let's see. Do you want to? She's blocking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And her, this is coming back. So, you know what? Let's have it kind of like out and extended. Like, she's, like she's going that full Iron Man haymaker, like she's kind of flying okay, so through the, the air. The iron, like so the legs are coming out. Uh, yeah, us, kind of thing. yeah. All right. Um, so you notice that I had a, a line for the hip box, and I added a little nudge here. Mm -hmm. That is more anchored on like, like kind of like anatomy lessons thing. Yeah, we've all talked about and heard about the hip box, right? Ooh. With like boxes in your hip, an imaginary box in the hip kind of We've thing. We've done the like a little like we didn't kind of spine stuff where you're like here's a thing and then here's oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that thing like you that. just drew that yeah, thing that's the hip box. that's the yeah. thing okay. that's the thing that <laughs> the thing on the thing I was is like the thing I'm a I drew. bad teacher <laughs> <laughs> okay no, good. but you you guys know so yeah all I'm doing here is accentuating like those two pretty much those two dots represent like the upper apexes of your pelvis. Right. And those are really defining factors of like recognizing gesture in the human body. I know, I'm just like, starting to get like little, Yeah, like, no, I'm with it. <laughs> I am following 100%. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's it make me feel like you aren't when you get that enthusiasm? <laughs> All right, so now that we've kind of like added a little extra definition to our yeah. hip area, now we're gonna work on bringing that leg forward. So, bop. That's your thigh. Just like one curved line right there. Thigh. Boom. Okay. A little a little break for the knee. Uh, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit just now. <laughs> <laughs> and then another bop for the the like calves, the lower part of your leg. Boom. And there you go, that's the action pokey. Okay, bye everybody. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you guys can tell from now, you guys get the sense of the gesture and the motion, yes, right? Yes, like It feels kind of action -y. it feels like the character's in motion. Yeah. And all we've done is just put down a few scribbles and some blobs. Um, cool. I know it's easier said than done, but this is a good way to get in the habit of approaching like action poses, because the biggest uh, the biggest thing that action poses run into is like it gets stiff really quick, right? Like you start, you start it off, you try to tie it down, and by the end result, you know, you pictured a really cool dynamic thing in your head, but then by the time you finish drawing it, it, it kind of flattened out and it stiffens out, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's just a conundrum everyone goes through. I don't know why our brains are wired like that, but now <laughs> we're trying to like break that it. kind of train of thought and mix part of us getting uncomfortable with it, yeah. part of us feelings. <laughs> those feelings. <laughs> and then so the third part is, those feels. <laughs> is art heart, right? And those feels. Art heart. Hell yeah. You so fall. how often so fight it. do you use like reference when you're animating or like reference photos or are you kind of just carving it out like this? You probably do it all the time. You don't need reference anymore. Yeah, I definitely start off with a reference, um, but after, you know, doing it for X certain amount of years, you've honed your craft more. So now I can kind of just like, just make it up. Do it in your head. And that's kind of my job. I have to throw down like, I have to story tell and throw down like imagery really quick to try and communicate to the team, but also creators I'm working with. Yeah. So I've trained myself to be able to just like, boom, just make a believable pose on the spot on the paper. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And 
yeah, I think it's a, it's a really cool skill set, uh, but definitely takes a lot of practice. And it all starts with like, you know, drawing from reference. Yeah. Getting feedback from like your peers, constructive criticism, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So it's a journey. Not being not being too defensive and. I remember yeah. in school, like a, my, one of my roommates was an animation major, and I saw how much work she had to do, mm -hmm. and I was like. I'm gonna stick with illustration. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone, everyone in that department had to work crazy hard to like, right. it's just so involved. Yeah. It's very important. It is very involved. Yeah, and you just have to produce like so much. Mm -hmm. It's insane. So much, yeah, it's like you gotta produce a lot in a quick amount of time. But you guys think I'm fast, I bet you're stupid crazy fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm okay, but this guy's probably the real speed yeah. demon. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, we don't have to like prove anything, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I would not want to go against you, that is okay. Okay, so now we got... New we got, show. Uh, <laughs> Artist <laughs> battle. Draw. I know, Draw. Speed run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the shortest episodes ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, boom, no, done. Five minutes, go. All right, we got our... We got our important landmarks down. We got we got the stuff that matters oh, landmarks. down. That's such good language for it. Yeah, I learned. I went to art school for a little bit. <laughs> no, I went to art school. Um, so it, for this action pose, ironically, like the middle stuff is least important, but it's important enough. We want to make sure it flows and connects. Because right now we have our head and shoulders and our legs and hips kind of separated, right? Yeah. So now it's time to connect the two. And one thing to keep in mind, again, in the in the vein of being uncomfortable is imagine her chest not just front on presented oh, to you like this but like uh, like bent, bent towards you yeah so you want to you want to get used to like yeah, thinking of like she's got her guard up yeah so yeah so i think for this pose like, like her torso is going to be kind of like bent forward oh, so man okay you you start all right <laughs> boom messes up boom 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see how this goes. Boom, because you're like giving her that gut crease. Yeah. So that's that. That's the only way. I, at least at this point, I can suggest some kind of like, um, like directional change with the torso. Is that right. little fold there? So and then she, you just kind of connect her. Hey, Don't think too much. You're thinking too much. It's great. <laughs> it's pretty good. Ben? Yeah. Right on. I feel like she got curves. Yeah. And then yeah. we're gonna take a pretty big scary leap. This mm. is our rough. We're done with this. Now we're gonna make a new layer and then add on top of it. Okay. So we're used to that. Okay. Let's set the opacity down for the rough layer to like 25% is a good number. Nice one fourth of anything. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right, so now we get to the fun stuff. Now we get to like indicate, you still want to stay loose, you don't want to like clean it up or anything, but just drawing in like, what is she wearing? You know, like, what does her outfit look like? And such Yeah. Like so this process, is this what you do for every frame or do you go, do you skip this bit? Cause you're so advanced now. This is, this is like the ideology of like how you want to draw each frame, but then, then you train so hard and get so fast at it, you condense it all in one go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So you're not n really doing this on a day to day. No, but like I, I would say that my thought process is exactly this. But then I thought process it and then like it's spit best. it out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. Super computering yeah. it. Yeah, I've asked Babs that question before of that <laughs> that mind's eye, that vis visualization he sees skill. The code. He sees he the matrix. Sees the matrix. Yeah, yeah. That's my next thing. It's the yeah. matrix. It is. <laughs> I, I see, says that too all the time. My reality, I just see everything in lines and shapes. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't see people. I don't see like. <laughs> because I asked that because like, like I after first season I did kind of start being like oh you have a triangular nose yeah, yeah. and then I don't think I would have noticed. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You start but, breaking down stuff in yeah. It's yeah, totally the matrix, like you're training your eye to notice and, and spot out a different language and then you start living that for years and training under it, then you just all you're seeing is like, oh wow, like that person just sitting down, like it looks like this now, like there's like these lines of action and shape that just yeah. kinda of pop out at you. And Does that make you feel like you're working all the time? Like no. your brain is just <laughs> always in art mode? Or can you ever like 
flip you that off. You can't ever shut it off. No, you yeah, can't you shut it off. I'm always trying to absorb and learn a little yeah. bit. But that doesn't feel like work. That's, I think that's the that's saving fun. grace. Yeah. yeah. It's a passion, it's creative. So it's definitely not a burden or anything. Yeah. Um, it's just an inter interesting view on reality and life now, I guess. Dang. In a sense. That's deep. <laughs> so deep. The Matrix. The Matrix. Um, Right, so, so should I keep with the same big fatty brush or should I tighten my brush? We're gonna tighten it down. So okay. an overall thing is we start with like a big brush and now we're starting with big broad strokes and we're getting to specifics and then to even more smaller specifics. So now is like a Somewhere good time for a medium brush, you okay, know? Okay. That feels Whatever medium brush feels, feels like to you. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit bigger. Up to you. A little bit bigger. Split the difference. Split the difference. Okay. <laughs> Go like 120. Yeah. That feels good. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's let's start off where we began. So she has, she's blocking arm. with her forearm and she has like in her outfit like some kind of like bandages or wrist guards. Yeah, yeah. Should we do the new outfit or the old outfit? Let's, let's do the old outfit. Yeah, okay. I think I'll, it's the classic. Classic. Yeah. Classic, is that the classic? We got some reference here? Yeah. Cool, so we got some reference. Take a look at the classic outfit. So we got some like bandage deals, all right. Um, so before we lay on bandage, let's actually define her arm. So this is where we turn in our turn on our like academic, <laughs> like this is how anatomy, wor anatomy works, brain. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, that's the conundrum. Like, even though I can throw it down really fast. I understand this is like really hard and it takes years of dedication and practice to like be able to execute so comfortably so fast, you know. But I think these steps will help anyone like achieve that kind of goal if that is their goal. I'm assuming it's everyone's universal goal to just get comfortable with like drawing. Yeah, yours is just stuff. like solid. There's no sketchy lines or anything. Look at this pro. Yeah, that's one thing, uh, you know, in animation. I'm like, is, should I do that? I'm like, I'm stick with what I know. Yeah, draw, draw how you're you know, comfortable with. I'm just draw, drawing this just because, like, in animation, it's all about, like, you want to draw efficient. You want to try to get as much yeah. information down with the least amount of, like, lines yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we talk about, like, you know, um, the hairy lines, as Bab Babs calls them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the hairy lines are bad. Because that just means indecisiveness in a sense. You know, you want to get confident with what you want to put down and such. Does she have like fist gloves? It does kind of like. I think the wraps just continue up. Kind of, yeah, wrap around her. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Alright. So the interesting thing about here is we got her forearm coming right at us. So we just got to think about where the rest of her arm, arm meat is sitting. You know, we got your... Like, can you just see maybe the shoulder? Yeah, I might just see the shoulder there. But we can actually figure that out later once we get most of the torso down. Okay. All right, now let's maybe just refine this, let's attack the head. Okay. So, you see, as we're doing this, like, it's just about focusing on from, we have our whole gesture down for the whole body, and now we're kind of attacking bit by bit, but then also, it's good to step back and be like, all right, is this lining up? Is this what I like? Is this what I want to do? So, I like to start with the eye line for sure, to indicate, like, the tilt of the head. I want to change my brush and try to be confident, like you, Sanjin. Mm -hmm. Choose, I just, I just straight up just use, like, the, Preset brush, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> With no the opacity. Is that I, I make a sketch in the hard round, this one, basically, all the time. And that's, yeah. all, and that's all totally okay. Those are both default Photoshop brushes, so. All right, so let's get a little bit of some bow action in the head area. So what stands out to me is that she has like this cool, like, like hair bang sticking out from her haircut. Yes. They're like, yeah, it's like two. Do you tend to start with the hairline or just kind of what speaks to you? Actually, I tend to start with, yes, the hairline and also the eye line. So like, I'm sure you guys 
put down heads like this in a KI line. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, one thing uh, to kick it up a notch is you have your eye line, but then indicate like the temple perspective. Yeah. Right. So then you'll get used to like drawing natural tilts in the head. Because already drawing this, like, you can tell like this head's looking up, this mm -hmm. looking down. Um, this is cool, this is like a boiled down. It's a boiled down uh, Loomis. Yeah. Yeah, Loomis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just adding like indication of your temple, your temple perspective will help kind of lay in like, oh, this head's tilting up or tilting down and add a little more like nuance to your posing and such. So yeah, and you're just doing them in little dashes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Time to delete all this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try to work on Bo's face. Oh. My first time drawing Bo. That's okay. You'll be great. <laughs> Oops. I mean, I grew up influenced by like a lot of anime and such, so I do always start with that classic, like defining the silhouette of their face and their cheeks and stuff. Is that a very um? Anime-driven animation. It is really. Because, um, what's the what's the alternative? What's the American? So yeah, you got like the Eastern approach and the Western approach. You know, Western is like the super awesome traditional, like maybe the classic Disney, yeah, and stuff like that. And then the Eastern approach, like from Japan, you know, all the classic animes and stuff like that. You, even from you got Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon to like current day stuff, Mob Psycho. Their theology of drawing is very different. Um, and I guess I'm a fusion of both of that, growing up with both. Mm -hmm. So like in Japanese like anime, animation, it's that theology of like drawing very efficiently with your lines, like the least amount of lines to show the most. Whereas I think more traditional style of drawing here is like you really want to like, it's not about how much line you put, you try and get the gesture and feeling down from the get go. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So if you just think about how Glenn Keane draws, he's like really fluid, yeah. and feels everything out. And then he has like this beautiful masterpiece of just like lines yeah. on top of lines, but you like feel it, right? Yeah, I feel like I feel like animes do a lot of static and then like, yeah, like other things like move, economizing, yeah. Economizing. They're like trying to get the most bang for their buck. Yeah. So like I'm kind of a mishmash, you know, just what I raised up on and, and what I referenced growing up. Uh, I do a little bit of both. Definitely the face though, because I just, you know, spent hours in my bedroom as a kid drawing like Dragon Ball and stuff. You just get into the habit of drawing that face to the way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like you and Sailor Moon, babes. I know. Yeah. We were laughing because he's like, someone asked, Steve asked, what's the most, you know, defining animation you've ever seen? He's like, I have a most cliche answer of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Sailor Moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only half hour apart are our influences, our major influences. I wonder if Toonami and Cartoon Network know that they're defining generation. Yeah, they have, definitely. So you're kind of doing brows, nose, mouth. Yeah. And then the ear. And this is kind of like a little bit of a cheat, like, like what's the secret of drawing a good head? And like, it's honestly just mileage. You, we, we can all start to understand like how the head works. Um, and you just naturally get better just constantly trying to attack it and approaching it. Mm -hmm. You'll just get comfortable with it. Pencil miles, go put them pencil in. Miles. Yeah, pencil, it's all about them pencil miles. So is her top of her hair like tied back? Yeah. Yeah, she's got it in like a high bun kind of situation. She's got an undercut. Cause she's a trendy 2019 girl. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like her bun would have some drag, right? Or something? Yeah, okay, definitely. That's a great idea for like some of that motion and such. Would it be going? How would you know which way she, it's going in this pose? Uh, I would say it'd be going down Back? because she's probably lunging her weight forward. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how the back of her hair looks. I'm just trying to get like an idea of like the neck placement. 
Now here we're getting to the nitty gritty of like, all right, this is how it's gonna connect to the shoulder. has like this necklace. What would you I, call like I have that? a question about the new show, but you don't have to answer if you're not allowed to. Sure. Um, you know how in like Avatar, they had all these like different fighting styles to represent mm -hmm. the elements? Mm -hmm. Are you guys doing that for the D&D? For the characters like? Um, we have talked about like, without getting too specific, how some of the main characters like, what their signature visual style, like how they Attack. do, yeah, do certain moves. Uh, yeah. Or when they're fighting. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know I've been, I know uh, Sam and Travis is very vocal of like, <laughs> visually identifying like this is how like Keyleth would move, this is how Pike would do it. But, That's like, cool. Yeah. So yeah, setting because like, especially when it comes to. Spellcasters, and we're all spellcasters, but like, you know, we're not. Oh, more. Okay, so this is the head, so you might want to make that like a little bigger. A little bigger, maybe. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> um, Yay, Photoshop. Yay, yeah, Photoshop. Trying to just like make sure that. Yeah. Okay. When Keyleth's magic looks like it's nature-based. Mm -hmm. ah, so you're doing like a little clavicle to kind of show where... Yeah. That's good. It really helps define like the tilt and direction of her arm placement and stuff. And you've got like all kinds of good silhouette shapes going on too. Yeah, silhouette, that's a key word right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. What's that saying? It's follow your art heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some goofy thing I started saying in the first episode. So yeah, I, I defined the clavicle, tried to find a silhouette for her neck to shoulder, and now I'm kind of like working into like the silhouette of her torso. You're kind of using your clothing elements to like kind of like define some yeah. stuff too. I don't know if that's like necessarily a cheat or a bad habit. I do, I do, but I oh find that. Oh God, I would do. I would do. I would definitely be doing that. So maybe it's. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do. I've, I catch myself doing it all the time. When I'm like roughing in a pose. Maybe I will start laying the clothes a little too early. But I kind of use the clothes as landmarks too for, which I think is important. Like how would that, if if Bo's like punching or something, her jacket or her shawl or whatever would be like. Like hanging off and going yeah. in a specific direction. Sometimes right? that helps me figure out the pose to put that in. Yeah, so, I mean, in, in this sense, I don't think there's necessarily right or wrong to a certain extent. What is that? Okay. How are you feeling there, Marisha? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not horrible. It's not bad. Yeah. It's... It feels like an action pose. She, yeah. Tight. <laughs> you know Tight. those, um, those like very first wrestling action figures from the 80s that were just uh -huh. like big, yeah. lumpy things of plastic yes. with like no articulation. <laughs> you say that's what yours is doing, that's... I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> they look like, <laughs> just, like a little bit bigger. <laughs> They're just all posed like this. Which is in real life, that's how like really buff. <laughs> Buff dudes like just that's our default pose, right? Yeah, <laughs> our, no choice. our default pose. <laughs> Look how funny his head is. <laughs> I mean, like, that's so good. So yeah, if you ever <laughs> need to make your character more buff and it's not working somehow, shrink his head. I guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> Travis? Yeah, Travis. Huh? When did you get here? I had a little tiny beard for him. Little... <laughs> <laughs> That's what Krog looks like, you guys. And we did series. All right, so kind of following the same rhythm of how we set the rough, let's go to her like hip leg area, figure out okay. the general shape of her clothes here. So she's got like these, are these like poofy martial art pants kind of a deal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pants. It's like kind of tie terms. pants. Is that a thing? Tie, yeah. tie pants? Tie pants. She got her tie pants on. <laughs> All right, so they're kind of, I'm noticing that they're kind of like, they're 
loose and baggy. And I think this is where like having a, a strong gesture underneath will help because you could choose like how it clothes when then when they can like hang off and when they want to be tight. Oh yeah. So he's overdrawing it because it's a lot of it's fabric. Like, yeah. I'm noticing in this reference like she got those baggy tie knee pants. That's the thing. And you're kind of like, yeah, okay. Cause technically You'll do these here. lines that I'm like, what made you do that line like that? Like your little wavy kind of pant line mm -hmm. with the little dip in it. The, the, this thing? The right top here? one. The, this the, one, she's talking about this one. Oh, yeah. this one. Like, how did you know <laughs> to do that dippy dip? Um, That's the technical term. The dippy dip. The, the, the dippy dip is influenced by um, keeping track of some like anatomy knowledge. Like I know oh, okay. the thigh is built on a few different muscles. Yeah. Especially since she's a mug class. I'm, I'm assuming she's pretty fit. She, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She works out. She's probably got she yoked works, out thighs. She works out. She got, she got some thighs. <laughs> so this is the yokeness right here. I'm just indicating there's some yokeness and <laughs> Some That's yokeness. yokeness. That's, yeah. we need to awesome. keep that term. And, and once again, out. just like pencil miles to figure it out, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I know it's like it's gonna be like the most boring answer that's gonna keep popping up, but half of it is like knowing, and they'll have it like just doing. Yeah. Know and do, do and know. Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> and then, and then I just caught there's that, that little this. muscle man still in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now she's wearing like like boots that go up to all the way up to her shin, right? Yeah. All right, so let's first drop a line. This is where her ankle is gonna be. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> and now we're gonna connect the dots. Let's see. So her ankle kind of lines up with her hip box. Yeah. Yes. And we're probably gonna overlap that foot, right? So it's gonna go yeah. behind the ankle, not on the side of it. Yes. It's gonna go behind the ankle <laughs> and not on the side of it. <laughs> Vera, what you just said. <laughs> I'm kind of going ahead and drawing the foot silhouette, but. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like she's doing a goofy. Goofy dance instead, but that's okay. Well, that's totally okay, because in the uh, big picture, like we're still preserving like a sense of motion and gesture, which mm -hmm. is what this action pose is all about. So she she seems to have like this tight fitting like waistband, right? Like a belt, some sort yeah. of sash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's. See how the sash is gonna work. Since I know her torso is gonna be bent forward, let's plan on having the sash like come forward like this. Mm. Feet mm. are worse than hands. <laughs> Feet are just like. I know, but look what he did. He barely did lines. Feet are just like chins attached to your leg. They are. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And you know I've been having issues with my, no, that's stupid. That's kind of a thing. That's kind of a foot. You got it, there it is. Yeah, get away, get away. That's kind of a foot. You okay. did it. You okay. look at his okay. and look at yours. It's, you're not that oh. far off at all. It's not too bad, okay. Got it. I feel like your, your, you know, your ankle feels like it has length and mine feels like it's attached to a carrot. <laughs> Like a baby carrot. Um, I mean, people, some people have tiny ankles. <laughs> Everybody has different different maybe, proportions. Maybe it's such. just like that. Maybe like that. That kind of makes it feel better. Yeah. Okay. I think I just had it a little too fat. You could always make that foot a little bigger too. Like when we tighten it up, we can adjust all that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, Homer Simpson? <laughs> What's going on over here? Yeah, I'm, trying like, I'm trying to remember how Travis's beard works. <laughs> is it like this? It's pretty good, yeah. yeah. What is his hair like? Is it like. It's like. He's got no, like, it's like a, a comb, like, kind of a, like, like a back. Kind of a bit? back. Yeah. And there's like two empty spots, like here. 
too. Yeah, he does spots. have his <laughs> some like temple, cutouts. Some temple emptiness. Uh huh. <laughs> some temple emptiness. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of ha hair. Is, he, is that too much hair for Travis? That's too much hair. <laughs> that's Man. our CEO. We, we know what he looks like underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking yoke as hell. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. His neck's so big. <laughs> All right, so back to our action pose. Okay. <laughs> Let's flush out her other leg here. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a crazy maneuver here. I'm gonna oh, go like no. bop. <laughs> and then I think. So the reason I'm drawing like that, like a crazy person, is I know this leg is kind of stretched out, and I want to preserve like that feeling. That stretch out feeling. Yeah. And. There is this I, I, uh, theology, I don't know if theology is the right word, but there's this. Bop. Bop, exactly. Is that guy around? Who's the guy that says bam every time you like, oh, oh. what did I do? Uh, Emerald? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it Emerald or is it, is it? Fiere, Fiere. Oh, Guy, guy Fiere. No, he says flavor town. He doesn't make sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, he doesn't make sense. He doesn't make no, sense. No, you're celebrity <laughs> chef. <laughs> <laughs> you teach pub draw, you don't know your celebrity you know, chef. <laughs> All he's known for is Flavor Town. And then he denies Flavor Town. So. He denies Flavor Town? Yeah. What? He's still sitting on he's sitting at um uh, he's sitting on a lot of merch money right there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we got like this great bop here. Let's no, let's that's counter garbage. That's a garbage bop. There's no such thing as like a garbage bop. A bop's a bop, yeah. bop right? Is that right? Yeah. Maybe it's just yeah. because it's by itself and I keep being like. I feel like you could just like rotate it over to the side or redraw it. What am I doing that makes it. Okay. See how far over his is? This pop? Yeah. It like lines up with my, my elbow. Do you have it lining up with the elbow? I mean, one thing is the. I mean, that's okay. It's, it doesn't have to be super accurate. It's all about, remember, we were sort of feeling, it's all the feels and the, and the, the art heart. So, you know, no, if, if you take two, like, even professional, super established artists and you tell them to draw the same thing, like, They're exactly, they, they won't, they can't. Like, that's kind of the beauty of animation. Like, no drawing is the same twice, in a sense, and that's how you get that illusion of, like, when it moves and stuff, you know? Look at you. <laughs> I, I kind of sound like a professional. You can't do it. You do it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now that we got this not, nice bot, we're gonna integrate some of her clothing. <laughs> and what I want, what we're gonna push for is to counteract that bop. You want counteracting bops is always nice for action <laughs> poses. So I'm noticing she has like this like. Bops. You mean like? Um, gosh, there's like a technical term for that. Counterpasto. Or when every all your like visual lines are crossing, like nothing's really like the same. Oh man, I used to know that word too. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. There's a technical term for it. But pretty much looking at her outfit. diagonals, like having a lot of diagonals is always like good. Yeah. Like versus. Yeah. Diag like going out like kind of what you're doing. So like he had that going on a lot in the action pose. Like there's one going this way, her. Beth knows, she knows that. Like all that's like mm -hmm. different diagonals. Yes. Yeah. Cause that, that's the matrix right there. You have different <laughs> matrix. <laughs> I've been known to dabble in the matrix, yeah. write some code and whatnot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. This was, you know, a creative choice. I took an opportunity. I see that we had this nice bop, and then look at her outfit. I'm like, we can oh. counter that, you know. So you're countering the bop to make the bop feel even more boppy with the with the belt kind of yes. flying flying through. And you know, maybe I, I could do a better job. I want to rethink this now. I'm seeing this, and the beauty of our technology. I'm gonna push this guy even further back. Whoa. Because she's flying. Yeah. 
And also, it's a good way to keep her foot silhouette clear. You don't want, you want to always have like nice silhouette read. You don't want too many things overlapping each other. Okay. Or tangents, we haven't really gone over yeah. tangents, but. I'm gonna name my firstborn tangent. <laughs> <laughs> what a tangent. <laughs> tangents are like, when stuff lines up, um, oh yeah, it lines up together, and like then it just perfectly. drives you crazy. All you do is look at it, you know. Like let's say if I drew a bop, like a tension, like a bop here and a bop there, and how like the tip of the bops hitting the edge of that frame. That's yeah. like annoying. Oh, you just look at it now. It just like grabs your attention, right? But like, right. look like, how much this does not feel better. Yeah, that's a that's like fixing okay. a tangent. Okay. It's like you just keep looking at it; it just gets bigger and you bigger. You don't want. I, <laughs> I see what you. Yeah, you don't want something to end on. I don't, I don't know yeah. if it's a weird way our, like if, our brains are wired. We just do not like it's tangents. Something about it. Yeah. Like if we were to draw this cloth like going yeah. straight by our foot, mm -hmm. that would be a tangent, tangent, and that we'd lose a silhouette, and that I would feel see. too perfect. I see. I yeah. see. Or like if this was like perfectly. Okay. Lining up like it's just With not as belts. strong, or yeah. you know, those are tangents because it everything loses definition that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I'm understanding. Hex, yeah. All right, so now she has like the, the, this crop top thingy. Hell yeah, she does. <laughs> crop tops for life. <laughs> for life. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Babs knows. I know. All right. Is that crop top life? In that crop top. I know when I look at my drawer and I'm like, I don't have any full shirts to wear with these <laughs> long pants. Like, what am I doing? I noticed that she's pretty yoked in the uh, mid torso region. She is. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, okay, okay. A little yokeness. Maybe I can pull so down. So you're like her. adding the ab bending where that like yeah. torso bend was. I'm gonna drop her belt down a little bit so we can see more abs. Yes. I feel like that's Love a very defining feature of bow, <laughs> right? I think I'm making her torso too wide by accident. Let me kind of like get your, her torso in there. Your booty is really popping. It is. <laughs> it is. I'll just bring that in a bit. We're good, we're good. That's starting to feel a little better. Right? Yeah, I don't think it feels bad. I wonder. If we move some of this over. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, totally. You call this a monk shawl? She had like a. There you go. Yeah, she has like a uh, like a Matt Mercer vest, like a long flowing Matt Mercer vest. Uh, one of those, a Mercer vest. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I saw them for sale the last week at Macy's, actually. Oh, really? No, you, guys are on, <laughs> you guys are sitting on some merch right there. Some Mercer, Mercer vest. vest. Mercer vest. Our Halloween costume, you could do like a bunch of bracelets and a vest. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like a, but like a soft cotton vest, you know? Ah! My Photoshop's going crazy. So a little, Tip about Mercer vests or any like long drapey cloth. Or Draw clothing. them in red. Draw them in red, step one. <laughs> um, but step <laughs> infinite is keep in mind like apexes. Uh, and by apexes, like the, the dips or the points of like where the cloth bend and fold. Okay. So, you know, like pretty much this is the apex. Whenever like something's bending, you have like the highest point or the point that sticks out most. Oh. But what makes especially like drapey, flowy cloth is like really knowing, keeping track of where those apexes are. And, and you're drawing that on a new layer, probably that red. I hope so. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes. I hope so. But just having nice apexes for silhouettes, for like, especially for action, dynamic action poses and having cloth like, feel like it's really flowing off of that pose. That, well, at least that's my definition of Apex. So like when that game Apex Legend came out, I'm like, cool, it's gonna be a clothing simulator. Just <laughs> everyone just kind of like bend their clothes like the most epic <laughs> way possible, and that's that's it. That's the game. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> that's the I'm game. gonna rule it this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check out my Apexes, yo. <laughs> okay, so then let's have the other side of this monk shawl. We're gonna we're gonna imagine as if. It's gonna be flowing this way because we always want it to 
always kind of like feel like it's in the same direction, right? Sure. Oh, and it's gonna connect. A happy accident there, so. This is obviously like the invisible underside here, but like it's gonna flow and connect to the other apex of this Matt Mercer <laughs> vest. What do we call it? A Mercer, um, Mercer coat or Mercer <laughs> Shaw? Mercer Shaw. You gave like the tiniest little kind of armhole on her. Just a little, that, that's more like a happy accident. Happy accident. All right. Now we're gonna try to figure out what her other arm is doing. I feel like it's getting pushed back, so her, like the top of her arm or her deltoid region will be really popping out like that. Yeah, I think Bab's got a good take on it. Because like uh. in the Matrix vision, like her arm is like going back like that, and then yeah, like it's right behind her body. Yeah, and then her. I've only seen vision. the forearm. I do this all the time in comics. It's a little bit of a cheat. Matrix vision. Well, no, like when I'm like, oh, how am I gonna draw that arm like being foreshadowed? Because I'm still working on that even, and sometimes instead of like. Trying to figure out this, <laughs> I'll just tuck it. I'll just tuck it back. <laughs> oh yeah. Just tuck it back and hide it. <laughs> <laughs> you must confront your fears. I know, I know, I know. But sometimes you're on a deadline and you don't have time to confront, confront your fears. <laughs> Deadlines, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm on a deadline. I don't have time to confront my fears. <laughs> I'll confront my fears on another day. <laughs> my day off. Call me later, fears. <laughs> Still on Monday. <laughs> Someone will look at this panel for two seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna try to figure out like her chest area, and obviously we have. Can I say breasts on the show? Y yeah, you may say breasts. Cool. You may I not say, say female presenting nipples because right. we're on Twitch, but you may say breast. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um. So obviously, to you know, breasts are just a natural part of our anatomy and we want to be able to portray them naturally because that's kind of one of the hardest things to make feel natural How do we in make them bounce? Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> Out of the gate with the important questions. I don't know if you guys ever have um, been presented with this technique of how approaching like breasts on a female character is like, you imagine like, like sandbags connected through, Rude. like being hanged <laughs> off their... <laughs> <laughs> Like being hanged off behind their neck. <laughs> no, I've never heard that, but. So the idea is like, if we have like, if we make up like this prop of like, here's a thing made out of sand, and here's a thing made out of sand, and then your head's here. Yeah. So it's like hanging off the back of your neck. Just right? like real boobs. <laughs> Just like real boobs, yeah. <laughs> so what that's gonna do is gonna help. Does that sandbag idea help you guys move them correctly when you animate them? I would say so, yeah. and, and the challenge is actually like making them look like believable on the body, because most of the times you'll get like floating breasts, or like yes. they just like they're not like sitting on the character. Yeah. So this is a good way to approach to like make it feel natural and then fitting with your overall gesture. Sure. So, oh, thank God I put on separate layer, cool. So we got like our, <laughs> sand, our sandbag. You wanna keep those? You wanna keep those? We got our sandbag uh, shape here, and now I'm trying to think about, okay, how is it going to sit on her chest? So here I'm assuming this is going to like be like a hard line because a lot of the weight is just going to be resting on her rib cage here. Mm. And then once you have like kind of like a good like rough land of like the sandbag that you feel like flows well with your gesture, what I do is I turn that off, go back to the original drawing and choose where to accentuate the shape. So like I'm choosing to accentuate this shape out, have that sit there, and then make her silhouette pop out on this side. That's cool. So like, 
you don't really actually have to draw the full. Full boob. Yeah. Yeah. I Never go full say boob. boob. <laughs> Female presenting nipples. Oh, that's okay. what. I <laughs> <laughs> so that's just like a little approach to like kind of drawing like believable breasts on a female character. That's a good idea. Um, sandbags. That's sandbags. The point. And like the reason I'm saying like imagine if it's like hang off your the back of your neck because like if you have more of an outstretched gesture or just depending on the gesture, it's gonna like, give you like a reference point of like all right if they're connected together from the neck. It should kind of like be setting this way, or yeah. this way, or something. Like finding that landmark to like pull mm -hmm. from. So I guess I think we're getting pretty close. This is like what I would call the tight pass, the tightened pass. Yeah. Okay. You're getting our landmark details. Maybe we can start laying in our eyes. Let's see here. I'll do that on a separate layer, different color. Those are, I mean, they're kind of, yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're boobs. They're <laughs> boobs. <laughs> she might, I mean, your belle might be super athletic and maybe she doesn't really have much. <laughs> have much. So pretty much like the overall plan is like three steps. We did our super loosey goosey matrixy lay in rough. The second pass is like using a smaller brush roughing in like broad details. And then theoretically the next one will be like, all right, collapse it all, blow the pass it, but now we can kind of like flush up more and clean up. You could do four steps, you know, depending on the complexity of like the character's outfit and such. You could do forever steps. You could do forever steps, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back and maybe clear out some silhouette stuff. Like make this feel a little more defined here. If I go back there. I'm indicating this fold here because that's like the uh, the muscle from like your chest connecting to your shoulder or your deltoid. Cool, and I so. Kind of gave up on this hand and just went to the boob, so let me <laughs> try going back. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, you'll notice from nope. my hands too, I just kind of like broke them yeah, down and just, just like, like a mittens. Few lines. Yeah, mittens yeah. is a good. I think mittens is a good, yeah, approach of like, if you want to like lay in like believable hand gestures. Because you getting caught up with every finger is what kind of trips us up from the beginning. So you just break it down to like the three shapes. You got your thumb, your index, and then the rest. Just like Gilligan's Isle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully by, you know, where we come so far, we have a pretty solid, like, this is still all rough, right? We have a pretty solid rough. Like, we preserve, hopefully we preserve a nice gesture. Yes. We have, like, all of our landmark details of, like, what the office going to like, thought about how it's resting on your, on the figure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, you know, of course, you can always edit and alter things as you progress. <laughs> especially as you go into cleanup. No, it's not too shabby. It's considering. not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Yeah, it reads action pose. It's it's a little action posey. Uh, well, while well, you guys keep tightening, mm -hmm. I think it's time to give away some intuoses. Let's do it. Hey. Oh my god, five. I know five, five? new Wacom intuoses in chat. So Reminder nice. that all Wacom tablets and displays work with any computer, Mac or PC, desktop or laptop, and Intuos pin tablets come with illustration and painting software for beginner digital artists to create right out of the box. I'm gonna give you a keyword, only enter it once. If you enter it more than once, you will be disqualified, and that's including 
like all five of them. Don't enter it in like five times. We'll be announcing each winner in one at a time in chat. So if you see a winner, don't re-enter the keyword. Got it? Right now, the offer is only good for residents in the United States and Canada, excluding Quebec, for the official rules that I do not make. Sorry, Quebec. Follow the link in chat or go to critroll.com. The keyword is legend, as in of Vox Machina. Keep an eye on your whispers. Yeah, you get it. And the winners will be announced in chat over the next five to 10 minutes. You guys. While you guys put in your keyword, we wanted to do something special for our second season of Pub Draw and wanted to feature other talented artists from the community in what we are calling our Artist Spotlight. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. This week's artist is Anna Z at Anna Z underscore S on both Twitter and Instagram. Anna Z got her degree in architecture and has been an active fan in the Critical Role art community for more than three years. She has a burning passion for art and works across fe multiple freelance jobs, including comic work, illustration, and animation. And she uses her limited free time to pet animals and dance. Let's take a look. Ugh, oh, I love her stuff. Her stuff is so good, and we were talking about this earlier when we were looking at it. She totally has the get the geometry thing down. Yeah, there's a nice like graphic language, uh -huh. like geometrical shapes and stuff. She definitely sees the matrix. She, she definitely sees the matrix. Sees the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and her colors are so great. Like she's got these under these greens hitting on the skin and mm -hmm. yeah. it's, um, that it's really special. Yeah. There's no outlines like especially too, which is like kind of a cool technique. But most importantly feels, right? Feels. <laughs> feels. Let's see the next one. <laughs> Oh. oh! She's mixing kind of graphic and rendered there, which yeah. is really fun. Yeah. Oh, Molly. Oh, man. Oh, that those are great. Vex is awesome. That Vex has a very video game character. Look at the, like the style change over time. Yeah. Yeah, because she's using line now. Mm hmm. Let's very see the versatile. next one. Oh, oh. So fun. So cool. Yeah, I'm such a big fan. I'm, I'm so excited that we got to um, feature her. So thank you, Anna. Awesome. Thank you, Anna. Thanks we for love me. it. Show you off. <laughs> All righty. So what were we doing next? Tightening, right? Tightening. So I can uh, now get rid and hide this this layer underneath. I don't really need that anymore. No, you can get rid of our first one. Cool. I will. Cool. You're still. Oh uh, yeah. Ah, is that was... on purpose or? No, I, I, I'm sorry. Moving on to the next step. <laughs> uh, so we have our tight rough underneath, make a new layer, and then now we're going to like okay. another tighten pass or a cleanup pass, depending how you know how you want to take it. Probably like if you're doing like an official like commission or illustration or something, you'll probably do this set to like do a more refined tight pass and then the final cleanup pass. But it just differs from people's like. Should I switch process. colors? Should I use blue too and be fancy? Or just. <laughs> Let's do blue, Marcia. Let's do blue. So, one thing uh, that cool to keep in mind for like the next Titan Pass is like the rhythm of how you're putting down your lines. You kind of want it to get like, like a flicking motion. It's all on the wrist, right? You want to start flicking stuff. So, like, you got the head there. If you want to like do the silhouette of her shoulder, you go and flick that, and then that, and erase the bleed, you know? No hairy line. I was gonna say, is this Flicks. to avoid yes. hairy lines? Yes, this is to avoid hairy lines. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <sighs> the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is real. Um, oh goodness gracious. Where do I start? Where do I start? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> anywhere. What is your feeling, my brush? Um, what other shows have you worked on that we might know of? Uh, let's see. That's a good question. <laughs> There's been so many from the past few years. Mm, I'm a little brag. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like all a blur. Oh, um, so much work. I did uh, two seasons of the show on Amazon called Nico and the Sword of Light. Okay. Um, that just came out recently, didn't it? The second season just dropped. Okay. Um, that was a really cool project because it's like one of those rare uh, projects where it's all 
like animated in house. So we had like a like oh, a dang. big fleet of animators just like. Oh, like you guys didn't overseas it at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't overseas at all. So it was like a show. common animation thing is yeah. to do give out keyframes, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, uh, and then someone else is in betweens in yeah. the studio overseas. Yeah, yeah. But y'all all did it in. It's all in house. Wow. Yeah, so that was interesting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, have you seen Claws yet? Nah, yeah, I really want to watch. Oh that. my yeah. gosh. I don't. I I really want to check it out, but I'm also just like really scared to watch it in a sense of like, it's it looks beautiful and I could tell how much work that went into it. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch it, my, my art heart's gonna be like, oh my God. Like, He's gonna what paint you. <laughs> Gosh, like like yeah. this, that, that one shot probably went by like this and it took someone like four weeks yeah. like, to like, or also, longer, I don't know. We'll just make you wanna like break your fingers and never draw again. Yeah, but it looks gorgeous. <laughs> 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 and I still don't really know how they too. got the final look with all like the lighting and stuff. That looked really amazing. It looks like every it was like animated in Procreate. Like that's what it the um style looks like. Yeah, I have to actually haven't had a chance to try out Procreate yet. I really should. <laughs> Quickly, he did those eyes and with no effort. <laughs> now I struggle with lips. You struggle with lips? Yeah. Always still a struggle. It's like weird sometimes when I'm especially getting like a tighter path like this and I'm trying to focus harder. I'm getting weird flashbacks of just like random memories in like history class and middle school, <laughs> high school. Just I would just sit there just drawing like eyes like this, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Or like just, just draw random doodles on like assignment papers and like, you know. So I'm just getting weird like just like flashbacks. Just since recall, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have blocked all that out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get in trouble drawing in class? Yeah, totally. <laughs> all the time. Oh, this one time I was drawing, um, this is like from the N64 Ocarina Time game for Zelda. Yes. But like they had like these like those these flame ghosts, right? In the game they can collect and pose. I think they're called pose. Um, they look like this or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was like really into them back then, and I was just drawing that on my paper. And I guess this like girl sitting next to me looked over it, and like she started crying. And she what? Thought, she what? thought I was like doing some kind of like demonic like I don't know. What? Like, in a lily ass school? <laughs> yeah, she pulled on me through the teacher, and they're like, "You can't do demon drawings in class. That's not Ooh, right." Jeez. And I'm like, but it's just Zelda. Like, it's just Zelda. <laughs> it's just Zelda. Nope, demon drawings. And you, I'm assuming, of course, Sunjin, you went to, did you go to art school for all this? Uh, I went to art school for some of it. Others is like, I had, I was lucky enough to have like a proper mentor, um, like well-versed in animation. So stuff like storyboarding or even how to draw like this, kind of like the last stuff we talked about today, like approaching certain drawings, economizing, you know, trying to draw with like more confident lines and stuff mm. like that. I learned that from the mentor and then I guess art school just taught me how to deal with other like art students. Oh, <laughs> like, oh no! Like yeah, working yeah. with other people. In yeah, a but in, in like, a, you know, there's a collaborative way, but also like, oh, you can meet some people that are like, whoa, like they're like super competitive. Right. So, I mean, you get you acclimated to that kind of environment because because art's competitive. Yeah, it's somewhat is competitive. There's good, healthy comp competition, and then there's like, when it gets too far. Yes. I remember arts, art school for me was a lot of like, oh my gosh, look at all the cool stuff people are doing. Like, I wanna do cool stuff too. Like, we all kind of pushed each other being in that environment. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew more in that those four years. That's great, yeah. Than I have and ever will, probably. Cause you're like, that's great that you got an job. environment like that. I did. I had a good, I had a good experience with art school. 
That's not everybody's case, but. Yeah, but I just wanted to draw Zelda and then she told on me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we <laughs> would get in trouble. And the teacher would be like, hey, no drawing in class. And they'd look at my drawing and they'd be like, but that's really We're good. We're good. <laughs> 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 I was like, Pants. thanks. <laughs> I miss that about commute. When I lived in San Francisco, I rode the BART a lot, and I would use that time to do like sketches in my sketchbook. Like I barely sketch really for fun anymore. Sketch for fun, really? Yeah. Because um, LA traffic. <laughs> LA traffic. Well, I don't drive, and then even if okay. I did, I wouldn't. Be able, I probably wouldn't be able to like doodle in the car. The LA highways here are so crazy. So how many um, like crunches or setups does Bo do a day to keep these these abs going? You know? Well, you know, she starts with her like regular morning routine. You know, <laughs> just like find a branch, do some pull ups, bust out like hundred sit ups, <laughs> push ups. You know, and just that's when she's in her. You know, when they're on the road and. I don't have much time to like <laughs> do our full, do our <laughs> really full do routine. Full one in, right? Damn. But you know, and then I imagine fighting monsters. That's also probably a pretty good workout. I yeah, just yeah. assume. True that. So you know, she's kind of she's working out all the time. So um, I guess adventuring has that perk to it. <laughs> yeah, it's like on the job training. Yeah, it's. I'm the type that if like I know I'm gonna be adventuring and burning all these calories, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. Oh yeah, oh <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Like Disney, Disney the Olympic swim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is justified because I walked eight miles. So <laughs> <laughs> I can eat this Mickey Mouse shaped macaroon. Mm -hmm. ah. I can eat this Mickey Mouse shaped macaroon. <laughs> I deserve this cone of mac and cheese from <laughs> Cars Land because I walked eight miles today. Uh, that's a cool outfit you got there, Babs. I like how you handled the, like her, I'm what are they called? I don't know which part you're talking about. The, the chest vest. area, the, not the Mercer vest, the- Oh, the crop oh, top. The, the crop yeah. top, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to use those lines to like define the that's great. chesticles. The chesticles, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to say that on Twitch. Twitch! Ugh, drawing's so fun. <laughs> it is fun. Marcia, are you gonna keep doodling now that the season's over? I want to. I actually, I'll probably have a little bit more time now that we're actually going into like break time, you know, starting to get into holiday break. Oh yeah, totally. Um, because this is pre-taped, so you guys have Thanksgiving to breathe a little bit again. Yes. That's good. I, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed arting. Dude, if I were you, every meeting, I would just be in there with my iPad like, uh-huh. <laughs> but then like, Not paying attention to doodling. the meeting. <laughs> Babs is endorsing bad meeting behavior. Listen, <laughs> do you know how many meetings I've been in where it could just been an email? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm talking about those meetings. Oh yeah. <laughs> we try to avoid those type of meetings That's, so yeah, much. Yeah, you guys are pretty good about it here. Because we all came from other places and work that you know that, pain. that did do that. Yeah. I've seen you can get um, blue like ribbons online that say congratulations, you survived another meeting that <laughs> or another meeting that could have been an email. Oh my god! I'm like yeah, it's or like my favorite meme of that is like there's a dog in the office and he's like it's like little two feet are on the table and he's like clearly barking <laughs> <laughs> and like the caption is like this could have been <laughs> sent up in an email. What are we doing here? 
I'm just forever a scar. I'm assuming every time I doodle, someone's gonna tell on me and say I'm doing demon drawings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the establishment win, Sunjin. <laughs> So Sunjin, what made you do design animation over, you know, so like illustration or comics? Or, or storyboarding, or like what part oh, yeah. of the animation, like what's your, what's your step you love the most and like the yeah. least? Well, definitely started off very cliche, cause Dragon Ball. Yeah, sure, you know? yeah. But I mean, it, was, it was a thing that affected a whole generation. So I definitely was exposed to that as a kid and fell in love with it. And that's what got me started drawing at a young, early age, just like liking, like learning how to draw. Well, I wasn't learning, I was just doodling at that point. Um, but yeah, I guess it wasn't until high school where I met a friend that was like, hey, I'm taking like this after school animation class program, you wanna come check it out? I'm like, yeah, I would love to check that out. So I guess that's like where meeting peers come to play and yeah. um, new friends and such. Little community. Mm -hmm. And from that, I got to meet my mentor at like a pretty young age, I was pretty fortunate, you know, like in high school, I had like this guy just yelling at me saying like, no, that's not how you do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> stop doing this, do it like this. Um, how do you then, deal with like, you know, I, th I think some people have a hard time taking criticism. criticism. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for people to, yeah, how to deal with that? Or yeah, I mean, it's, it's always gonna be hard. I think it's just, just naturally who we are. Yeah. Um, just taking, because art's so personal, right? It's something that you literally created and to have, get like feedback or critiques on it that sometimes might already change it in a yeah. sense. Obviously it's gonna, it's gonna um, affect you. And I don't think that's wrong to feel. I think that's natural to feel. But the key point then is to learn how to like take a step back and remove yourself from your art. You gotta like get used to like yeah, get personal and then get an objective with yeah. it. Almost like um, you know we we're work we're both people that are type of artists that are working on teams and helping creating stuff together and mm -hmm. like at the end of the day you want to make that thing the best it can be. Yeah. And it's like not about you. And if their input or their thing that they want to see like helps make the product or yeah. whatever you're working on overall better, like that's an exciting and and it's an opportunity for you to grow. So, yeah. You know, as an artist, like sometimes I'll have a critique or like, uh, even when I was in art school, like a change a teacher would make and I'm like, oh, my thing's great, that's dumb, but I'll do your dumb <laughs> change. And then I did it and then it's like better. And you're like, damn and it. That really, humbled, <laughs> that really humbled me and I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna like listen even if I don't understand or right, get it first. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes when I do the thing, it, it's much better. Like I'll be working on a comic and um, one of my writers will like want a, a change and I'm like, Ugh. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and then he do it, and I'm like, like damn it's it. better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we're in now, it's definitely just collaborative. Um, yeah. Especially when being creative art becomes your profession, it, there's more teamwork and collaboration involved. So you gotta be able, that's kind of part of being professional, is you know when to kind of put your passion and personal flair to it, and then you know when you can take a step back and look at it objectively to invite other opinions, you know? Yeah. And, um, but I mean, it's something you learn. Yeah. Definitely something that uh, you'll get, and some people will have a hard time with it, but. You have some, like when you're doing voice acting stuff, I'm sure all the different kinds of takes you guys have to do all the time. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And same thing, you're just, you know, at the end of the day, the client's in the room and if, they're like, do it like this, and you're like, all right. <laughs> yeah. And they don't know, you know, you don't always have the full context. I think that's always what's important to your all's point, kind of what you were just saying. Like, yeah. You have to kind of let the personal aspect go because you don't know what the director is looking for or mm -hmm. how it's going to loop into the project as a whole. So. Yeah, sometimes you have get this, this is like the craziest thing you've probably ever told me since I've learned more about voice acting from you, but sometimes you don't even know the job yeah. is when yeah. you go in. Yeah. 
Which must be kind of scary, wh right? What? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine yeah. that with art? Like, um, yeah, like you walk in, like yeah. It's dude. like it's soda, and it's like red, and like there's white letters. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, but if you could just draw an illustration, you know, like yeah, working in that vibe. How are you yeah. supposed to do that? That's crazy. It's wild. And yeah. It's it's interesting. Video games are weird. <laughs> I yeah. don't know how to do feet, so I'm gonna just move past it. Do you have any like mitten tricks for feet? Mitten tricks for feet? Um, not per se. I think I try I try to just keep an idea where the toes, big toes, gonna be, mm -hmm. and if your foot is top down, right? If it's like this. Mm -hmm. um, like, I guess you could do a mitten, but just for the toe. The toe, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, always remember that it's gonna go, unless your feet are weird and your toes are longer, your regular toes are longer than your big toe. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's that always this like cool. triangle-y kind of shape. Yeah, that's great. So in the theme of today's Matrix lesson, I think Marisha, you should actually go back to that foot and and do it and again. Face it head on. And just face like, it head on. Okay. Yeah. You can apply You're it definitely right. stuff that Babs just like went over. Yeah. Some great stuff. So let's see. This Keanu would be proud. Like the toe. Keanu. And that would be like Keep that. My head, I think. Or make my arm bigger. And then. That would be like the foot. So it's in a it's in a boot. <laughs> I like how you're talking yourself. Talking face. myself through it. Talking yourself through it. Hells yeah. That kind of that feels okay. That feels better. I did it, Sungjin. You did it? Yeah, it's not, yeah. not too bad. Mm-hmm. And it's all about you making like these little baby steps. <laughs> and next time it's gonna get a little bit more easy to draw, and the next time it's gonna be easy and then at the, uh, you know, at the end of the journey, you're gonna be like this foot master. <laughs> Just like Quentin Boy. Tarantino. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Shoving his fetish in our faces all <laughs> the time. And we take it. Oh, we take it. <laughs> uh. I do hope, like, this is just like kind of like random, but if I ever have like a, a kid in the future, like I hope they decide to work in animation because I'm like, you don't need to go to college, I'm just gonna teach you, boom. Yeah, I've got you. <laughs> yeah. Save me money, save you money, win-win, <laughs> you know? Like, Please, daddy doesn't want to have to save for your tuition, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't that, push it on too hard, you gotta be, yeah, like, is there a like, weird conundrum where like, no matter what, how cool of a job the parent has, the kid's just gonna not like it and not want to do it growing up because it's what their parents did? Yeah, for sure. Oh no! But what if your parent had a cool job? So what you're saying is I should quit and become a, like, find some other like random yeah. job, like accountant yeah, or a... Become a plumber. <laughs> yeah, and plumber. Then, you know, your kid is gonna start drawing one day and then you're gonna be like, watch this kid. Yeah. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with those yeah, jobs, yeah. it's more like, I don't want to pay for my kid's tuition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not too, not too bad. Let me, because we are starting to get tight on time. Yeah, I think we're about done. We're about done, but, oh wait, okay, hang on. That's good to know. Let me go back, because this isn't done. I'm trying to do these flicks. I'm trying the to do flicks. these flicks, Sunday. That flicks was a really good, like I wish I'd said that, season one. That's a great. Yeah, flick flicks help. Just you get confident with your lines, and yeah, it's forcing you to make a decision in a sense. So. And if you have Photoshop sure. like me, you could just if it's not the right flick, just yeah, Control Z. Tell me yeah, it's okay, you know. Control Z. You know. Man, it was one of the reasons I went from when I was on Backroll. I ju I did it on the computer, and I think I got too precious with it, and so for. When I did my comic Motor Crush, I did it on paper, mm -hmm. and 
because there was no control Z, I got way faster at it. Mm. And then I scanned it in. If there was anything that was really off, I would fix, fix it. it. But most of the time I would like leave it because it wasn't that bad. But <laughs> on the computer, sometimes I'm much slower because it's too much. It's, yeah, it's you, too yeah. easy to, to be go back. You start more. noodling, right? You start noodling too much, yeah. And that's why like when we first started off, like we just did use big brushes because you can't noodle when you're using like a fat brush. Yeah. It's forcing you to just like put down what you need to put down. Yeah, 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 totally. I'm just gonna play around while y'all wrap your things up. Yeah. I don't know why I keep doing funny stuff with my canvas. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, has it been like this the whole time I have like an area that's not filled? That's just transparency. Oh, did you move something over? I don't know. It's like... <laughs> no, that's even... filling it up. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Photoshop was just struggle busting oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> Photoshop is just struggle busting it. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder how Anna Z colors because she doesn't do outlines. That would be have to ask. Yeah, that's true. She must do a sketch and then it? like when I do that, I'll take the lasso tool and I'll like draw the shapes. And then sometimes I'll do lines later and that kind of adds some cool like gestural feelings. Gestural feelings. <laughs> That's gonna be forever like just scarred in my brain. Every time, <laughs> every time I'm like trying to like get a drawing down, I'm just gonna hear the like gestural feelings. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think that's about our time, you guys. No. I promise I will finish this someday, sometime in the ambiguous future. In post it? Yeah. Do a little post post or post. Yeah, we can always post fine. it from um, I only CR's post cat Twitter. photos though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to a Critical it's Role. Fine. We'll post yeah, it we'll for post you. It out. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we have to stop. My goodness, we, we have, have to, to stop. stop. I could keep going for forever. <laughs> but do we though? Do we have to stop? We do. Oh. That's the thing with pub draw. Everyone comes on <laughs> and it's like. How Joel's action poses turn out, How did guys? Turn out? This, this is, is my scene. Show us what you did. This is kind of a looser episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I think we covered a lot of ground. We went from we like. We did a lot. Man. I yeah. love the beginning, the gesture, how to mm -hmm. how to tackle it was really useful for me even because yeah. I don't usually tackle it so loose, and I think it's going to help me. Yeah. In my comic drawings. And Great, things. yeah. So That's always a key. Yeah. Of course, it was, it was really fun. <laughs> I'm not too, the pose not too bad. Look at it. Yeah. And Marisha has confiscated her feet and chin fears. You know? yeah, I did. <laughs> That's a pretty good foot. Yeah, That's there you go. Good. It's not a terrible foot. It's a progress, yeah. And like, I think, hang on, let me grab my keyboard again. Her face kind of ended up being like, I'm kind of yeah. tall. <laughs> <laughs> Like you all have these like fierce expressions, and she's kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it works. It's fine. Yeah. It looks more yeah. like like she's like try me. What like. if I like? Yeah, you let me. <laughs> yeah, if you lower the eyebrows or move the eyes up, maybe she'd look tougher. Mm -hmm. Richard, we have to wrap there the show. There we go. <laughs> no, now she even looks cuter. I gave her like the cheekbones, and now she's like, I'm cute. Don't punch me. Don't pinch me. <laughs> uh, well, thank you all so much <laughs> for joining. Sunjin, thanks for coming. This is it's been a real pleasure. Awesome. Thanks for working on our animated show. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see it. Yeah, it's Are you gonna be. Fun? I'm definitely having fun and just. You know, the boss is okay. They are. They have their moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. No, I'm just kidding. Off the camera. <laughs> uh, thank you all for hanging out with us at home. Hey, hopefully you learned something about drawing. I know I certainly did. Mm -hmm. If you did draw something today and you want a chance to win a Cintiq 22, which oh. it's in this really huge box behind me that I'm not well, gonna, gonna pick up because it's massive. It. Oh, hold it. He'll, okay. Yeah, he can. Let's
the, the this like thing is the big, this is our big Mac Daddy <laughs> winner, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you could potentially win this, but you have to submit your drawings of Bo to pubdraw at critroll.com. Do us and Danny a favor and do not submit to the email. <laughs> yeah. and I said, oh guys, sit down. Thank you. Uh, cool. <laughs> we'll handle that later. Uh, unless you are in one of the qualifying residencies, <laughs> don't submit because it gets a little muddy. But feel free to share your work with us on Twitter with the hashtag PubDraw. <laughs> this was our season two finale. <laughs> Uh, this is our finale of Pub Draw. Thank you all for joining us. It's been Surprise. an incredible time. Follow your art hearts. Keep drawing. We love you. Bye. 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 Hey guys, thanks for watching this season of Pub Draw. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe and keep on drawing. Ain't that right, Sanjin? Always. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Bye. Bye.